I'll tell you a secret. This is a, a super duper crazy secret. I know you, I can't believe I'm, I'm spilling it. The girls are gonna be so mad at me. Um, here's what I've learned about men and women in general, not all men, not all women. Thank you. Before the women get mad, I'm sure not all of you are like this, but I'm just going to say a good chunk of you. I would say 90% of women are like this. <clears throat> in general, with men, they have a specific physical need and then they go look at other traits. So for example, a girl needs to be at least seven out of 10 and then he will definitely date her. If she's not a seven out of 10, he won't even look at her personality, her career, her family, her wife skills, he doesn't care. She needs to look at least seven out of 10. Not all men, obviously, but I would say 95% of men are like this. It doesn't matter if the girl hits 10 out of 10 on all the other categories. If the girl does not hit a man's physical requirement, he, she, he will not hit that. He will not ask, for, he will not want that, he will not go for that. It's just, she's friend zone forever, okay? That is men. Men think women are like this. The truth is, women are not like this. Except for one thing. Okay, here's the one thing. If a girl is just out there to look to fuck, she will care about your looks the most. Meaning if you have a shitty personality, but you pulled a really hot girl, most likely she thinks you're attractive and she's just there to fuck you. She's not looking at you for long term. She just thinks you're a good lay for now. You're fulfilling her physical need. Now, when a girl is actually looking for a boyfriend, the requirement for physical looks greatly decreases. And now the everything is weighed. It might be like she might be 60% looks, 40% personality, or it might be she's 60% personality, 40% looks. However, however, here's the crazy bit. Because girls are very uh, easily to attach to someone based on personality and more emotions. Let's say you're a five out of 10. You're an average Joe Schmo, but you got a good job. You are great with your family and kids. You're very social. You're outgoing. You are really good at like sports or video games. You have something you're really good at and you're really funny. That five out of 10 Joe Schmo who doesn't look anywhere like Brad Pitt is gonna look like a 10 out of 10 for a girl as a boyfriend material. It doesn't mean like, some, I'm not trying to say everyone's ugly. I'm just saying like, if you're looking at someone, you're like, oh, how did he pull that? Like, what's his name? The guy that pulled Ariana Grande and Kim, and Kim Kardashian. And who is the newest one? Uh, Emily Rogers. What's her, you know? Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson, I'm going to be honest. He's a 5 out of 10 regular Joe Schmo. And you're looking at him and you're like, how the fuck did that guy pull those women? Because those women are not looking for looks. They're looking for personality. So just look at Pete Davidson and be like, I gotta get the Riz. And that's all you gotta do. He's a good looking guy though. Nah, man, he is average as fuck. It's not that he's ugly, but he's not gonna make me go, and if you are the type to go for that, that's fine. Maybe he, he suits you. But as I, as I think everybody in general, that's why they're always saying, how did Pete pull this woman? Is because they all feel like this guy's very normal, average. He's not ugly. He's just average, five out of 10. So that's, that's what it is. If you are worried that you don't look like fucking Brad Pitt, that's totally okay. Work on your charisma. Work on your like skills. Hit them with that like 
ooh, you can cook, or ooh, you know how to like find the right dates that are really funny and awesome and cool that really, you know, stands out. That is gonna make you pull a girl like pink sparkles, okay? Um, most likely Asmongold has got the Riz off stream. Maybe he has it on stream too. I mean, he has to have it on stream, right? There's no way this man pulls 70K, 70,000 people averagely and not have charisma. You just can't, you cannot. There's no possible way you could have thousands of people watch you and not have charisma. So he probably got the super gay, you know? Just, yeah, update your charisma. That's it. Girls are... Girls are really all about like, can you make me laugh? Are you funny? Does hanging out with you make me feel like I'm really happy? That's what you need, okay? Don't, obviously be hygienic. Um, the only thing I don't like is when a guy does not shower correctly, doesn't clean it in between his ass cheeks because he thinks it's gay. Uh, no, you're, you're smelly. Your ass should never smell. Your ass should always smell good. And if your ass doesn't smell good, you ain't cleaning it. Um, and like, you know, just brush your teeth, wash your face, stuff like that. That's like really important. If you can do your normal hygiene, there's no way you can't pull somebody you want, okay? Hold up, that's not a thing, is it? <sighs> I know a lot of guys. There was a guy I know. I'm not gonna name name because I'm not giving him clout. But, uh, there was a guy I know who's a streamer who didn't even wash his body with soap because he said the shampoo from his hair was enough, like there was enough, what's it called, runoff from the shampoo to clean his body. Let me tell you, this guy when I first met him stunk. Fucking stunk. I cannot believe there are men like this. Lakari doesn't have hair, so you can't blame it on Lakari. This is a guy who literally only washed his hair and then let the runoff from the shampoo be enough to clean the body. There are men like this. It's disgusting. So fucking disgusting! I, I I'm not gonna name names. I'm just not. I'm just gonna let you know it's a streamer, but th that is not the only one. Ah, 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 girl. I think about it, and I just I cannot. I 